Hello and welcome back to another video. So this is Kishimoto Station and from here I'm going to take a little journey to a museum I know. So please do come along with me. The museum in question is the Ueda Shoji Museum of Photography and it's situated here with a spectacular view of Mount Daisen. Ueda Shoji was a photographer from this area of Japan and he was perhaps most well known for his black and white photography. For this reason I'm going to do this video in black and white for a change. Anyway this is the museum itself. I've been here maybe four times now and I always enjoy this museum. Firstly of course because of the photography, second because of the situation with that wonderful view out over Mount Daisen but thirdly because of the architecture itself. It's very brutal, let's say. Nevertheless, it does seem to somehow fit very well with the surrounding rural landscape. Anyway, let's go inside. Ueda Shoji was born in 1913 and died at the age of 87 in the year 2000. He amassed a wide body of work across many different genres of photography. However, I think what he's most well known for, and certainly what I like the best about his photography, are his modernist and, let's say, abstract pieces, quite often with the sand dunes in Tottori as the landscape. Obviously, I can't show any of his works in this video, but I did get permission at the ticket desk to take some photographs and video of the museum itself in terms of its architecture. The way that it integrates the scenery of Mount Daisen with the building itself is, I think, very impressive and very clever. As I say, I've been here several times, but this is actually the first time I've been when it's been a nice day. I have to say, I don't remember this fountain from previous visits. Maybe it's only used when the weather is good, I'm not sure. Many of the windows in the building act as sort of mirrors reflecting Daisen, as here and this is a more general view out over the landscape. The inside of the museum too is quite stark, brutal almost. I think it's entirely made of concrete. There's lots of wide open space in the museum, again very often with views out over the surrounding countryside. And then there are reflecting pools which, like the windows, act as mirrors, especially for Mount Daisen. It is actually quite breezy today, but when the wind drops for a while, like here, there's a really, really good view. By the way, from here, Daisen doesn't look to be that large a mountain, but it is actually 1,729 meters high, so it is fairly considerable. It's a popular place to go climbing, especially in summer, and apparently the views from the summit are superb. Anyway, back to Ueda Shoji. One of his most well-known photographs is of a besuited man in the sand dunes of Tottori with a bowler hat. Another of his photographs features a balloon. Therefore, on one of the museum windows there is a bowler hat and there's also a balloon you can use to make your own compositions, like this. Or this. Oh, and one other thing. When you leave the museum, behind the wall in front of the entrance, there is this huge reproduction of another of Ueda Shoji's photographs, again of the sand dunes in Tottori. So be sure not to miss that, it is quite missable actually. Anyway, I'm going to finish here with a few photographs. Realistically, the museum is not the easiest place to get to. It's a 40 minute walk from Kishimoto Station uphill, I should say, or you can take a taxi, which is by far the better option. In any case, despite the somewhat inconvenient location, I would say this museum is well worth a visit. Entry is a thousand yen and the taxi is about 1,300 yen each way from Kishimoto Station. Still, it's well worth the money, I would say. Anyway, have you ever visited this museum? Would you be interested in visiting it? Please do let me know in the comments if you've ever been or you're planning to go. 
Anyway, thank you for watching as ever. I hope you liked the black and white video for a change. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also please do consider subscribing if you're not already. Anyway, that's about it for now I think. I hope to see you in another video very soon, but for now, goodbye.